Hey guys, welcome to the highlights for the Grand Slam at Kazakhstan, day two. Have to start off with this one. Uranage threw the guy on his nose, and you can see the blood trickling down his hands, but I'm not sure if he broke his nose or split his head open, but a lot of blood coming out of the head of Morka from Poland. We'll have a look at it again in slow motion. Here we go. And you can just see the landing of blue, and it's pretty much right on top of his head. Anyway guys, how about that for a start to day two? Quite a bit of Nawaza in this one, some great performances by the women, some good throws as well. But the Nawaza, the Nawaza from the men, especially at under 73, Mark Madbekov. Here he is on the screen now with some great transitions. But he took gold, and he also took gold at the Grand Prix in Dashambe. So two golds in a row, definitely someone to watch out for. And it'll be good to see how he faces up against some of the high level competition. So Stodolski from Poland. He took silver, but then everyone else at under 73, it was all the Kazakhstan boys, two bronze medals. One went to Nakulov, and the other one went to Shamshayev. And here he is with a great Seoi Nage. So coincidentally, at under 81s, Makhmad Berkov from Tajikistan, he took gold. Same name as the Russian who took gold at under 73. So I'm not sure if it's just a common name. In these kinds of countries or there's some sort of relation there but just a bit of a coincidence two guys with the same name taking gold and this isn't the gold medal contest here it was him against schmidt from brazil ended in Cheetos, and i was a little bit disappointed with schmidt across the day no throws at all just going through winning by shido all the way to the final one of the bronze medals went to wrestle and this isn't his bronze medal contest that was another one that ended with Cheetos. but this contest was kind of funny Gets a turnover three times, and the first two, they just, they said no, wasn't good enough. I thought these turnovers were decent enough. But this one here, finally, four minutes into, into golden score. I mean, he pretty much did the same thing three times, and they just finally, finally gave it to him. But this here, enough to score for Wazadi. And lastly, before we get into the, the women's results, Mendiola took the other bronze medal at under 81s. Nice bit of Ashiwaza here into the hold down. So at under 63, we had Jisoo Kim. And Hecker, Katharina Hecker from Australia in the finals. Kim throwing Hecker twice with the same technique. Kind of a low driving Orchigari. Really nice technique actually. So gold for Kim, silver for Hecker. And just one more from Kim here. Same technique, different match though. Low driving Orchigari. So definitely her Tokui Waza. In the bronze, we had Fazliu. I hope I'm saying that right from Kosovo. Nice Uchimata here, taking out Lilo Ashvili from Russia. And then also this one here, I wasn't quite sure about this one. They give it to Lai Shout, who's in the blue. But... Should it not be Han Sokomake? I mean, they gave her the score, they gave her Ippon for this, for turning over the Uchimata. I don't know guys, what do you think? I guess it is a good turnover, and the Ippon is probably the right call. And under 70, we have Taltsidu from Greece. She was on form, great Epon here. And then in the final, she ended up taking out Van Dyke. And looking at this throw here, I mean, I'm definitely seeing this more these days. The referees used to be really strict about having a leg involved for a, for a counter or not. And these days, they're definitely just letting more Tewaza be regarded as a, as a throw, as a counter, and giving people points for it. So in the bronze medal matches, we had Polling. She ended up taking bronze, and also Coughlin from Australia. So I mean, the Australian women these days, I mean, they're doing pretty damn good. And just out of curiosity, if anyone knows where they train, what city, please let me know in the comments. So that's the results, guys. Just leaving you with a few epons here to end with. I'll be back tomorrow with day three. And of course, like, subscribe to the video. Consider joining the channel. Thanks to all the members. And of course, I'll put the results at the end of the video if you want to check out that as well. I'll see you later. Peace.